What's up? Today, I'm talking with some other young activists that are all making a difference in their own way. Now, climate change has become the number one priority for most governments in the last few years. And students and young people, they have been at the center of that change. We're looking back over the last five years and asking them what has changed since the coronavirus pandemics and all those lockdowns and what advice they would give their younger selves starting out. Okay, so um, my advice would be to keep speaking up, right? In whatever way you can, uh, on whatever platform. I remember during the pandemic, I found it really hard to focus. But I just had to get up every day and use my voice to influence others. I would say, Jay, take that one step, however small. Attend a meeting, join a group, sign a petition. You have more power than you think you do. The meat industry used to be one of the worst contributors to global warming, so first off, Erin, get used to a meat-free life. Chill out, you're actually gonna really like vegetarian sausages. <laughs> And homegrown local food is going to be huge and better thanks to legends like Jamal. Haven't you got someone else better to ask? Lahari, you are not going to be the media lawyer you thought you were. <laughs> you are going to work in ecocide and stop crimes against the environment. It's not glamorous, you won't be invited to all the parties, but you aren't going to let another child lie on the floor suffocating. You're going to do something about it. And that's good. <laughs> Use your vote carefully. It took me a while to find the politicians who talked about sustainability and actually meant it. Advice. Don't be fooled into voting for someone who pretends to be greener than they are. Whatever your skill is, use it to make life better. You know, not just cruising around. Find the people that lift you up. They might not be who you expected. And then arrange meetings. Don't worry if no one comes at first. All movements start small. And actually, small changes can be a great start. For instance, use public transport. Don't waste things. Switch the lights off. Got to start somewhere. OK. Doing even a little good is better than doing nothing. But don't limit yourself. I mean, dream bigger than you thought. Your passion could become your career, right? And if you want change, you should change it. You have much more power than you think you do. You deserve a better world. Demand it. Don't forget to breathe. Oh my god, that was so stupid! <laughs> Lahari, you have a, a master's degree and you forgot to breathe? <laughs> okay, so, somebody else take over. I, I can't do this. <laughs> Say something inspiring. <laughs> I guess it's like... Passing on for the next generation. Leaving the planet in the way you'd like to find it. Yeah. <laughs>